Okay, in a previous video, I'll put a link to the previous video, we talked about multiplying integers. Uh, right, in this quick follow-on video, we're going to talk about dividing integers. So, how do we divide integers? Well, same way we divide normal numbers, uh, it's just we have to be wary of the negative signs. And the rules for the negatives for dividing positive and negative values is very similar to the rules for multiplying uh, positive and negative values. If we have a negative number divided by a positive number, we get a negative number. If we have a positive number divided by a negative number, we get a negative number. And if we have two negative numbers, we end up with a positive number. So what does this mean? Let's look at our first example here. Negative two divided by four, uh, negative four divided by two. Okay, well, ignore the the negative sign there for a minute. But we have, so we have four divided by two. Four divided by two is just two. And we go to our rule. Our rule says if we have a negative number divided by a positive number, we should get a negative number. And that's exactly what we have here. We have a negative number divided by a positive number. So our result should be a negative number. So it's in fact a negative two. The next example here, we have negative 12 divided by negative six. These are two negative numbers, a negative number divided by a negative number. That results in a positive number. So uh, what's 12 divided by six? Again, it's just two and positive, and we have positive two. Uh, the next example, we have 42 divided by seven. 42 divided by seven is in fact six. You can verify that for me. Uh, and we don't have to worry about positive or negatives because everything's positive. All right, the next example, we have 21 divided by negative 7. Here we have a positive number. Here we have a negative number. We have a positive number divided by a negative number. That's exactly what we have. So our result should be negative. Oh, uh, what's 21 divided by 7? It's 3. And it should be negative 3 because it's a positive divided by a negative. And our last example, we have again two negatives. We have a negative number divided by a negative number. Uh, oh, not there. We have this example here that I've circled. Uh, so when we divide a negative by a negative, we end up with a positive. And so negative 15 divided by negative 3 is positive 5 because 15 divided by 3 is 5. Okay. Uh, so let's just recap. Um, when you're dividing integers, if the signs are opposite to each other, like this example or this example, your result is a negative number. If the signs are the same, such as this example and this example, you end up with positive numbers. And that's very much the same uh, kind of rules when we were multiplying positive and uh, sorry when we're multiplying integers all right thank you for listening and you can uh, go on oh go on to this example you do and when you finish this please show me and i'll hand out the worksheet thank you